ladies and gentlemen, zip, zap, pow. Not just once, but twice. That's right. AR12871 has released two M-Class solar flares in about a 12-hour span. We had M1.8 following A2.8. When the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people kind of lose their minds. Oh yeah, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, count them. There are uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, five sunspots on the sun right now. Yes, that is correct. The sun is waking up in incredible fashion, a whole lot earlier than anyone on earth predicted, other than me and Scott McIntosh of NCAR in Colorado. And I maintain being like the only YouTuber, truther, weather, space weather guy out there who's not trying to sell your grand solar minimum through your contributions, donations, prayers, good thoughts, and other protections. So if you'd like to contribute or donate to Thor News, I've only got $110 left to raise for my September fundraiser. Yeehaw! So if you like contribute Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Mailbox, thank you, Nancy, and OG Greg, and everybody out there who is awesome. You guys are spectacular. All right, let's get to it. The models are starting to drop doom right in our doom window. We're talking between September 27th and August 4th, or I'm sorry. Wait, what month comes after September? October 14th. We're looking for a landfalling hurricane, possibly two. But definitely, I predicted we could definitely see a landfalling hurricane around the 13th of October. And one before then is always possible. So we are keeping... We are tracking these things. There are a lot of big swirlies on the planet right now, man. And hey, here's how I'm looking at it. Sam absolutely could be a danger to the East Coast, possibly even Florida or the Gulf of Mexico in about 10 days-ish. But this one, the yellow one, is the one that if we are looking out for a storm on October 13th, this would probably be our main candidate, although there's a possibility it could come from here. Either way, we are definitely going to be on super-duper high alert from the 27th, technically through like October 20th because the Eris Earth opposition is on the 17th. So much to talk to y'all about. For example, right now you got Uranus, Eris, Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto all retrograde with Mercury joining them retrograde on the 27th and this incredible imbalance in our solar system where I think the orbital velocity, planetary orbital velocity um, affects our earthquakes and our volcanoes it's been my theory that starting in 2017 and building to like 24, 25, we're going to see an increase in volcano and earthquake activity. And 2021 has been like a volcano advent calendar. We had the eruption of the La Palma volcano on the Canary Islands over by Spain earlier this week. And it continues to impress with its scariness. And we just had a 5.6 magnitude in the Gulf of California, which is technically in Mexico or Mexico territory. So yeah, we live in the most interesting times for sure. And then you got sprites showing up to say, Hello! Nasty wildfires continue to burn up the West with very little press coverage whatsoever. California disasters, fawn fire, and four views. Currently over 800 acres, but it's larger than this now. Sammy Roth saying federal officials say there's a 3% chance Lake Powell could drop so low next year that it can't generate hydropower and a 34% chance by 2023 and this decade water is probably going to be the big battle on top of many other things. Chris Crepon showing us how the storm that was hitting the northeast will be continuing to move over the northeast over the next day or two. And hey, can I take a moment to tell you something personal? I finally broke down why did it stop playing? I watched Ted Lasso. It's a show on Apple TV. You can watch Apple TV for free for a week. And just wanted to say it is super duper and fantastic, but you're probably only going to like it if you like relentless optimism and relentless humor. The first season's, I'm, I just started the second season, but the first season's fantastic. Okay, great. And get ready for all the Sam jokes, the one hurricane or tropical storm or whatever the hell you want to call it in the ocean right now that we are monitoring although now it's supposed to go above puerto rico which is great news it's called sam so prepare for all the toucan sam jokes and whatnot you know back in like 2014 weather twitter was nowhere near as clever or had such a great sense of humor as it does now 
and gosh dang cranky weather guy if you're out there i miss you we miss you and i hope one day you'll return like han solo and then help luke blow up the death star or whatever an m-class solar flare caused a r1 high frequency radio blackout today so i hope everybody was okay apparently the european union is going to force apple to have everybody like one charger fits all which seems great for humanity although having a bunch of different charger sizes for different phones probably is the most um profitable for phone companies or but what was it talking about i don't even know shoe story like i woke up at like 6 a.m and i laughed and i cried so much watching ted lasso like every episode after four makes you cry in my opinion during the first season i'm freaking exhausted now anyway here's a gif of today's gross humidity being swept away in favor of cooler and drier air this weekend can i tell you another story i know you guys i don't know if you heard but i finally got a car back you know after going two years without one i got one i don't know in like march this year and then as soon as i got home from help my mom move the start of june like the moment i drove back into houston my freon went empty and because been money's been running tight um i haven't had a chance to replace it yet so every time i drive around i'd sweat a lot and be like oh my god it's hot so today it was like 60 70 now it's like 80 degrees so it feels fantastic so it's just i don't know and being having norwegian grandparents on both sides as a viking i, I really like the autumn and the fall and the winter feels way better than summer we all have our own preferences, but I'm just telling you, yeah, Autumn's here, man. Hey, if someone wants to, you know, knock this out in one bunch or even bonus over, that would be great and helpful. Just mention it. You guys are great. Man, the whole area of like Mexico and Guatemala and Central America are kicking, bro. The Fuego volcano, here we see that it is definitely active, pumping out ash and lava. You know what I'm saying? We definitely live in interesting times. It's like we're all on a roller coaster game show in our own way. So make the best of it that you can. Do the best you can with what you have in the place that you're at. Now here comes whoops that pow. You got the windy fire. Most active areas right now are south of Johnsondale and west of the Trail of 100 Giants. Smoked in now, but earlier the cameras showed intense activity somewhere near Barker Peak says, AI6 wire, I am. Yeah, me and Scott McIntosh are telling y'all, it looks like this is going to be a really, really strong solar cycle 25. So get ready for more better energy sooner than anyone expected. So that's cool. Flux you, man. All right. I better shut the flux up. There are a lot of big swirling storms over the earth today. That was Tim Kelly from Boston, and this is Chick showing us that the 00Z Euro is looking pretty problematic. And this would be for Sam, so this would be the October 3rd. And so if we were to get hit by a hurricane, this one, we would still be watching for one on the 13th. Now, though technically, the 9th is the big Pluto square, Eris, 5th of 5. So it's five days before, but five days after, but it usually comes after. But this would fall in either window. I still think if we get hit by this one, we got one, one after it 10 days later, about. But I could be wrong about everything, except for the um, the, the solar cycle being strong. That is, definitely seems like a go. But I don't know. The sun could just shut off and be like, oh, I'm not shining any more light. Then we'd probably be dead. We'd freeze to death in like 10 minutes. Chick Jacobs, this morning, the trough is a bit weaker, and the high isn't moving as much. Although, note, the trough seems to be setting up a cutoff yesterday it was over del marva this morning it's southwest of kentucky tennessee also there's a weakness just off florida coast at the 206 hour mark and i want some miracle to happen so i get to go see the strokes in october they're playing a gig in miami but that would take a giant massive miracle but it's okay to dream right especially if you're poor dreaming is free kimberly Mir miller not miracle maybe you are miracle Kimber <laughs> October is Florida's busiest month for storms. 15 Category 3 hurricanes or higher have hit the state since the late 1800s. Isn't that a wang danger bringer? You know, a lot of y'all have been with me for years, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, here's another look at the Volcano de Fuego. It is really getting it today, and usually Papa Capel is the one that's 
going nuts. Or Colima. They got three pretty active volcanoes. Guatemala and Mexico. Jonathan Erdman talking about, hey, guess what? Not only did Spain have volcano a activity in the Canary Islands, the instigator west of the Andalusia, Spain flashed flood today, an upper low trapped south of upper ridging, all too common flash flood occurrence. And so, yeah, crazy days indeed, my friends. And it is my guess that the craziness is going to escalate to like the 9th of October. And then there's like a couple of days after where it's going to be super duper intense with the storm to watch out for after that. Prolific flash flooding today in southwest Spain near the border with Portugal. And um, pretty bad stuff. We've seen Europe get hit really hard by flooding this year. But I don't know. Everybody across the globe is like arguing about politics as everything seems to fall apart. And sure, it may seem like the end of the world. And a lot of people are probably going to die. We're going to need miracles and divine intervention. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. But as Ted Lasso says, I believe in belief. Hey, Grant Gilmore, beautiful display of Crespler rays over Tampa Bay this morning. Crespler rays occur when objects like clouds or mountain peaks partially shadow the sun's rays. The light rays are actually parallel, but appear to diverge from the sun due to Quotation marks, perspective, close those damn quotation marks. Hey, 10 hours ago, we were under geomagnetic conditions. Did you feel it? Yeah. 2021 keeps on getting 2021 here. And so, like, buckle up, hang on. Like I said, the 27th through, like, the 15th of October is going to be wild. Very wild. Hey, we were Astro Fight Club. We were made for this. Danny Rojo was like, hey, plan revealed for a large, giant Las Vegas resort in the shape of the moon. And yeah, that seems cool. Can you play rock and roll on top of the moon? And then someone mentioned, one of these people, that they're waiting for an earthquake that will knock it off and that will send the moon rolling, I guess, kind of like the big ball in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Or I guess they could just put that in a movie. That way, try to avoid the, what is it, counterbalancing the programming or whatever. I don't know. Brain don't fail me now. And then there are speculations that an asteroid destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, so there's a lot going on. Fires, fires everywhere. Here we go again. In Delaware County, Treaty, said Joseph Meadows, Pennsylvania. 2.24 inches of rain. The rain fell in two to three hours. Sometimes there's hard rain. Sometimes there's soft rain. Sometimes there's drizzle. And sometimes there's like, oh my God, build the ark. Oh no, we didn't. It's too late. Man, I'm going to need better jokes. I'm going to close out this damn fundraiser. All right, I'm going to take a nap, I guess. Everybody stay cool. And if you want to push me over the top, that'd be great. You guys are the best. I love you. And then Groot appeared. And the darkened skies above Istanbul. That's interesting. See, we live in the most interesting times. Um, and so, I don't know. Are you going to be a hero? Are you going to be a villain? Are you going to be an NPC? Um, or somewhere in between? That's up to you. I'm going to be me. I'm going to try and stay cool. I'm going to play defense. I'm going to do my best to make good choices. I'm going to hope you do the same. Hey, everybody. God bless you. God bless everyone. And, um... I'll talk to you in the near future. Peace out. Yo.